This is a small RBC, hypochromic in color and microcytic in size. It have a decreased volume, so this is called hypochromic microcytic RBC. It is found in thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, iron deficiency anemia, and lead poisoning. You can remember these diseases by the mnemonic TAIL. T A I L. The next abnormal morphology of RBC is spherocyte. This is a RBC small in size, spherical in shape and it lacks a central pillar and the biconcave shape. It is found in hereditary spherocytosis and autoimmune hemolytic anemia. The next RBC morphology is tear drop cell which is also called tacrocyte. It is actually the shape of RBC which is formed when RBCs are in rush to make their way out of the bone marrow. So it is found in bone marrow infiltration like myelofibrosis or megaloblastic anemia. The next RBC morphology is target cell which is also called codocyte. In this RBC there is increased surface area to volume ratio meaning that the volume of RBC is same but the surface area of RBC membrane is increased. So there is a rise of central bulge in this RBC. So this is called target or bull's eye RBC. It is found in sickle cell, HBC disease, asplenia, liver disease and thalassemia. You can remember that by the mnemonic as HALT. The next RBC is the normal RBC. It is normochromic and normocytic RBC. The next one is called white cell, also tecmocyte. When there is Heinz body formation in RBC, this RBC moves towards the spleen, where the splenic macrophage eats up the part of this RBC. The resulting cell have a bite on its surface. So this is called bite cell. It is found in G6PD deficiency. The next RBC is stromatocyte because it looks like the stromata of plant. In this RBC, the central pillar becomes slit-like. So it is found in hereditary stromatocytosis. The next one is helmet cell, also called schistocyte. It looks like the fragmented pieces of RBC. So it is also called horn cell or helmet cell. Uh, it is found in intravascular mechanical hemolysis of RBCs, such as disseminated intravascular coagulation. The next RBC is bird cell, also called echinocyte. In this RBC, there are blunt projections that are evenly distributed on the surface of RBC. It is found in pyruvate kinase deficiency, uremia, liver disease, and snake venom. The next RBC is something similar, which is spur cell, also called acanthocyte. In this RBC, there are throne-like projections from the surface of RBC. It is found in lipid metabolism disorder and liver disease. The next one is ovalocyte, also called elliptocyte, due to its elliptical shape. It is formed due to mutation in the gene encoding for RBC membrane, such as spectrin. So it is found in hereditary elliptocytosis or hereditary ovalocytosis. The next RBC is sickle cell, also called derpanocyte. It is a thin S-shaped RBC or sickle shaped RBC that lacks the central pillar. It is found in sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin SC disease. The last RBC morphology is hyperchromic macrocytic RBC. It have increased cell size due to poor differentiation of nucleus. It is found in megaloblastic anemia and macrocytic anemia such as vitamin B9 and B12 deficiency. So these were all of the abnormal RBC morphologies. Most of them are important for exam point of view. Also these are very important for differentiation of blood slide for different causes of anemia. It was a small and brief video covering all of the important abnormal shapes of RBCs. For detailed discussion of these RBCs, we will upload a special video for the causes and special clinical importance of these RBCs. See you next time.